Who are you saying? Welcome to Salty Locks, your front row seat to extreme underwater diving adventure, spare fishing, and all things under the sea. We're here at Vesa Beach at the end of the day dive. I'm here with two little fans here. What's your name? Jana. Jana. I'm I don't know. Alright. Yeah, like and they uh, I have mermaids. They have a lot of questions. Oh, we see she we have a real life mermaid right here. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna get in the water and see what we can catch. We'll probably get some like snapper. A yeah, yeah, we'll leave we'll leave the other mermaids alone. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll what see if we can get some some lionfish, some snapper, Ooh. some jacks, stuff like that. All right, guys, stick with us. Stay with us. The sun is about to go down, but we're gonna get it in before the end of the day. Eagle rays in there. That way? Yeah, like, oh, okay. Yeah. And, yeah, and then it had a, a little, it had a, you said had a, um, octopus on Oh, yeah? We yeah. might yeah. see one of those. It had a, um, eel. It was an eel. A eel? A moray eel? Yeah. A green one? No, I had a spotted one? No, it was like black. A, and it was black? It had black spots, and yeah. it was red in the back okay. and blue in the front. Oh, okay. okay. So, and it almost Natural one of Oh yeah. They had drop of fish in there. Oh yeah. man. All right. And even I like call um. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye bye. Nice meeting you guys. Come hop with us in the water. All right. And we make our descent on the first shipwreck. It looks like even a stove got left behind. There are a variety of fish swimming in and out of what would be considered an artificial reef. Tragedy for the owner, but minus any chemicals, it can be a benefit to the local sea life. G.I. Joe spots something. Just kidding. I still have all my fingers, but that bad boy is strong though. I spot a snapper and decide to take a shot. Probably wasn't the best idea to shoot double banded into a wreck. But the fish don't exactly wait around for you to get armed properly despite what you see in my spare fishing for people video. After some tugging, JP manages to wrestle it out. The sun is setting and lighting is getting low. Time to break out the diving flashlights.
With one more scan of the ship, Joe grabs another snapper before we navigate to the next wreck. Someone missing a teacup? Joe knows the way to the next wreck, so I follow along and break out my compass to get my bearings. the settings on my big blue dive light. The spotlight is the best option for night dives because it has a focused beam that cuts through the water. The video lighting casts a wider angle and lights up the area closer to you and is best for filming. So my apologies for the darkness. I'll remember that when we video our next night dive. Here I spot a lobster and attempt to snare it. No luck at this angle. Seeing that he kept eluding my snare, it's likely he was too small anyway. Here goes another lobster. This was a really cool boat wreck to explore, but it's time to head back to shore. Spotted some Caribbean reef squid. Little guy bumped into me and got scared. I've been inked. Everyone's catch goes into the bucket and we head back to the water to clean it up. Now it's time to clean some fish.
let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite part of this sunset dive The adventure doesn't have to end. Click on another video and let's go on another dive. Until we dive again, stay salty my friends.